Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. Now, it's only been a few days since the end of the last episode, I didn't want to go too far because this research is about to be finished, and as I recall, there is a cutscene to do with it which is very narrative-based, so I thought I wouldn't leave that out of the video. I have also created our next character who is in the line, so I would like, you, like to introduce you to... Ken Yamashita, who is from Japan. I hope he looks as much as you want him to look, because I tried my best with the description given. Let me know if this is fine. Let me know if you want anything to change. Also, let me know in what way do you want me to build his upgrades and his abilities down the road. Do you want to be more medic-based or more hacker-based? Just let me know. Anyway, that happened. We also now have the training center, which is super useful for bonding soldiers together. Retraining ability, well, training abilities generally speaking, so we can use like XCOM XP to add more abilities to people, or AP I suppose. But I'm going to hold that for the time being because we don't have loads anyway. Uh, this is still going on, there's still only two more days left, so I imagine we will probably be doing this today. Uh, also, I am going to grab these supplies very quickly, and then I'm going to quickly jump over to reducing the contract cost, so that I can jump in here and do this on the cheap, you could say, and hopefully this shouldn't pop off too much. But let's keep going! I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. By autopsy of the Advent, Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. I mean, obviously we're going to do it. It's part of the story. All right, so use the score jack item on an Advent officer in combat to gain access to the alien communication network. So we'll crack on with getting the proving like ground going soon as well, which would be quite good. The Advent captain seems to provide a also, I could read these out. The I can always go back, I suppose, and read them a bit Advent later. Network but uh, usually I do, but I'm probably actually going to skip it for the time being. Commander, but I will come back maybe in a bit. But let's get the proving ground going. Instant? I mean, will everyone wait for a second? Because this is instant. Though I was never witness to one myself, countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. I mean, yes, they literally stretch Armstrong to him. Which is pretty disgusting, let's be honest. Yeah. So the Mind Shield is a powerful psionic artifact. Are you done, buddy? Good. Rendering soldiers completely immune to any negative mental conditions, including panic, mind control, stuns, and disorientation. That's pretty good. 
Especially like right here, right now. So let's see what we got. So 14 days, two days, which isn't too bad. Four days, four days, 11 days. I think I am probably just going to get a resistance radio going. Because uh, we are going to start building contacts for the time being. So let's just get that on the move. And then let's get back onto the map. This is going to be clear in four days. This is going to be built in three days. I am going to build a power supply area here. Like I say, I don't really have the supplies for it right now. That's the only problem. But where we're stood currently, or where we're floating over, is uh, supplies. Grab them. Perfect. In the spring of 2015, human military forces engaged one of the first alien battleships in the skies over this area. The civilian populace below was devastated during the ensuing battle. We deployed teams to sweep for possible salvage, and they returned with a number of resources found scattered through the area. I mean, 56 was not as much as I was hoping for. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. Damn. Well, it is what it is. Uh, let's get over here. Although this is probably going to pop off by the time I fly over there, let's be honest. Any time now. I suppose the Avenger is a fast boy, so it got there just in time. But this is going to go any time. There it is. So Santos and Ice got some XP, and there's a bit of cohesion going on between the two of them. And Ice's will has been increased by four, and we've also figured out where Mox is. Which means it's time to go and get him. Let's have a look. We've confirmed the position of the soldier being held captive by the Chosen. We now have an opportunity to launch a rescue operation. Commander, if we're going to win this war, we need to take every chance we get to fight back. We'll have to be ready to engage the enemy during unpredictable situations, which require special planning and preparation. You're telling me. So some missions have unique modifiers and special conditions which will con change our tactical engagement. We'll need to review these sit reps carefully before selecting our squad. Well, I'm not going to ignore it. I'm just going to go straight in. All soldiers on this mission will gain a single charge of the Conceal ability. I mean, I'm all in for that. What is it? Operation Gilded Vanguard. Very cool. This can wait. I'm getting my boy back. I'm getting Michael Dawn back. Alright, so this is what we're going with. I thought I would bring in some people that we haven't seen yet in, in battle. And since we sent Ice on the whole thing, it makes sense that he knows exactly how and where he is. So let's take him with us, and we will bring Yamashita in for his first combat. Although technically not his first combat, but you know what I mean. Let's go. All right. Did they put him under a table? It looks like half his body was under a table. All right. We're going to be as sneaky as possible. You heard me, Ice. No shotgun blasting. Clean operation, I hope. Get in. Grab him. Get out. Although I'm pretty sure going through the door does kind of set things off a bit. But the enemy's chilling, so uh, let's keep him chilling for now. Ooh, nothing to set off yet. Right. Are we going to set off anything there? What accent do you have? That was American, right? I'm going to have to wait and see how he speaks again. We'll see. Confirmed. Pop off. Up you go. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Whew, that is a high area. Well, let's just stay away. You god. Hello. Nothing to see here, officer. Just a bunch of guys hanging in the woods near one of your... Oh, God, they're everywhere. Hostile forces spotted. This is, this is very Metal Gear Solid 1. Yes, I know, Bradford. Yes, I know, Bradford. Don't worry. God, for a second I was like, did he just see us? Nah, way too far away for that. Headed there now. Oh no, it is, it is American. God, there is a lot of them, isn't there? A lot of them. I assume running through, no, running through this fence doesn't set them off. Which is great, because otherwise I'd be like, well, I guess we're screwed. I don't need to get that close. Just hunker down. Let's see how they react and where they're going. I'm going to have to, like, work my way around the guns. And obviously all the people here. Damn, there's a lot of them. And this will make Advent learn about having CCTV cameras everywhere. Because this wouldn't be happening otherwise, would it? 
You think they'd learn? Okay. How far can you get without them seeing you? You could probably make a proper dash for it. I'm gonna do it. Oh! Is it clear for everyone else? It does look clear for everyone else. How far can you get? Oh man, this is gonna be uh, pretty intense, isn't it? Good to go. Gotta hope someone ever really trained for the Olympics. Jeez. Tactical espionage mission. Okay. He's now disappeared out of range, but that should be okay. Where is Mox be hiding? He's in there. Okay. Let's not move up fully because I just want to make sure we're behind cover every time. And I also don't know where the other enemies are. Get into this cover here because it's covering you from both angles. Okay, but there doesn't seem to be anyone else around here, as it were. So that's actually... Stand on... Sit on this side because I don't think there's anyone here. Great. That's confirmed that. That means that, Ken, I want you to move up as much as possible as well. Also, you're probably going to be our hacker man because you've probably got the hacks, as it were. Getting the mind hack or the mind jack will also increase our hacking ability. So we want to get that probably put on a specialist. Probably Richter. Or, you know, share it if uh, we're only sending like one specialist out at a time. Or depending on how, the, how, how it rolls, really. Right. Be very careful. Get to the door. But don't go in just yet. Want to make sure we can breach without walking into a room full of, well, the bad guys. Right. Ice. Ice, baby. Roger that. Huh. Does the I, C, and E stand for anything? Should I be aware? Okay. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. As soon as, as soon as we open this cell off, it's going to pop off. That's affirmative. So let's uh, let's get ready. Moving. I'm not going to go till next turn. I'm just going to get him into position. Let's do this. Not just yet. Let's not do this just yet. Let's just wait. In position. Whoa, hey, 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 no, no, no. Do not commit suicide and take your friends with you. It probably would blow the door open, but, uh, don't. Don't do that. Right. It's go time. I'll take a look. Um. Where did the packing part go? Why did you disappear? That's really weird. Okay, I'm gonna have to, hang on. I'm gonna move him out of the way. And then try and hack, because otherwise, that's so bizarre. Position confirmed. Let me try that again with, with the hacker man. Hacker robot man. Infiltrating access point. There we go. That was so strange. Unlock this door about... Right, come on now. Although, although I do like average scanning times reduced by 50%. But I also don't want to set... I think we can probably live with the base going high alert and actually getting the scanning times reduced by 50% would actually be better. Screw it, I'm going for it. It wouldn't have worked anyway. Well, the door's unlocked. <laughs> Infiltrating the system. And there goes the alarm, I imagine. Oh, there it is. Firebrand is in position and the compound is on full alert. Time to move. Couldn't you just put, like, the thing... How the hell do we get up there? With a body. With someone... Well, with someone's body. Is there not a... Where are the ladders? Oh, don't tell me. Okay, there's a ladder there. And then there's a ladder there. Right, so we're going around the back of a compound. Okay, fine. Um, Michael, grab him. You're the closest to him. G grab our boy. How did they know? VIP is secure and we're on the move. Also, you can go into concealment, so hang about. There might not be any any kills in this fight, but uh, as once again Metal Gear Solid has always taught me. Oh, you can't you can't do it while you're carrying another unit. Okay, I was gonna say as it has always taught me, 
going silent and all, all putting everyone to sleep instead of killing them is the best way to play Metal Gear Solid. God, Mox, you're so heavy, buddy. Uh, you've, you've, your movement's done, isn't it? Right. In that case, Ice, you're going to be covering our exit. And also Ken, whilst he's uh, getting ready to leave as well. I can actually put these two into concealment. I just can't put Michael into concealment because he's carrying someone. Which I guess is fair. He's probably making a lot more noise. Oh, no. Maximum alert status. Yeah, buddy, I know. Hey, Central, buddy, you're not the one carrying a carrying a very, very hefty boy, all right? Working on it. I know there was a ladder around the other corner, but this going around the back probably feels a bit safer. But man, our, dis our walking distance is uh, not going too well, is it? Right. Get here. And around. I just want to move you two around as much as you can. Move, move, move. I mean, if you didn't know we were here, we now know because we just jumped through a window. So, unless they're just like, damn kids. It's not the damn kids, it's us. <laughs> ah, Pyro and the Priest. It's a weird, genty prog band name. I mean, they could try as they might, but they're miles away. Okay, but not miles away, but they're kind of... There's some distance on them. Ah, the darkness spoke. And it said... Well, whatever he said. Oh, Michael, you can actually almost make it. Right. Go on. Use those thick thighs. You can do it. Also, climbing up a ladder with a body must be quite something. That is some, that is some power. Come on now, you can do it. Let's hope there's nobody up there with you. I don't think there is. Alright, next turn you're out, no problem. In and out, 20 minute, in and out, 20 minute operation, if that. It done. Everyone else, honestly, just get up here. You might not even need to shoot anyone. Which is a very different operation than I was expecting, if I'm honest. I don't think we're going to get close enough. No? We're out. Position confirmed. Let's not mess around. Let's just leave. Extracts, please. Get the hell out of here. Once again, strong rope. Okay, great. And then... Ken, off you pop. A good, a good hacking abilities there. Ice, you can literally only just get into the circle, but that's fine. I would say you want to just throw your grenade off the cliff, but there's, <laughs> there's nobody to throw the grenade at. No, it would be quite funny just to throw it and see what happens, but uh, I don't think there's anyone close enough, to be honest. Ah, throw it! Get ready for a surprise. You never know. <laughs> that's what I think of your building. See ya! Flawless! Except the part where I blow, blow part of his building. Did that out of spite. I don't think he will be. I think Mox is probably pretty well uh, built to uh, survive that. I'm fine with this. Did not need to kill any of them. Good job. I mean, the aliens didn't die, so let's kind of like move this around a bit and get a better one, eh? Yeah, that'll do. God, he's such a cowboy, but the lime green hat is absolutely sending me. Jesus. Let's go. All right. That was great. And we've got our boy back. Wherever he is. Mox has been safely returned, Commander. He's eager to get back into the fight. I'm sure he is. We got some bonds available, and then also Michael leveled up, which is great. Uh, you want to go full sniper bar one ability, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't lightning hands, so I think I'm fine with that. So dead eye it is. Nice. And I will upgrade, I will update your Nickname in a second, because Taxman isn't quite right. I am glad to return there he to is! Service, I will not forget what you and your soldiers have done for me. What a guy. Welcome to the team. No Goddamn right. You can lead the Reapers any day, Commander. Well done. 
fabulous. Well, I'm not gonna. I think I'm actually gonna make ice and. We've done what we can to honor our fallen. Ooh, I could do this. It's not much, but it gives our people a chance. I'll hold off on that for a second. I mean, nobody's dead yet, man. Don't, <laughs> don't make me feel like they are. Uh, who you you went out on a mission with Santos, didn't you? We don't have to worry about keeping the council. So maybe I should keep you two to be friends. Saying that, who am I to who am I to say about bonds? If you want to be if you want to be friends, you can be friends. Uh, just for that pose alone from Ice, I'll take it. Done. <laughs> These photos are getting more ridiculous. All right, nice work. That's two bonding motions we have now. Let's have a quick look. Well, the resistance ring is about to be done, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue anyway, so that's fine. Uh, you're about to be finished your training, so I can make a new character out of that soon, so that's really handy. Unfortunately, we didn't get that hacking part where we can uh, do events on the map in 50% of the time, but that's okay. This is the headquarters of the skirmisher faction. They may look like Advent, but they sure don't act like it. Now that we've See, not first hand. Contact, we can scan at this location to gain additional support for our cause. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. Sick. Commander, All right, Rebels of Blood. Interesting. I am Zetos, first of the free Advent. You are safe here. Praetor Mox was new to our cause, but he believed. In our people's freedom. In this alliance. In you, Commander. I shall do the same. My skirmishers stand ready, should you need them. May our people stand united until a false gods fall. If there are orders you would have us follow, Commander, Tell us what must be done. Here, here, but uh, can we be done now so I can start talking again? Right, let's have a look. Enemy drops additional loot items. I mean, I like that. I like that a lot. Building faster is also really handy. We're about to get that, so that'd be really good. So that's fine. Man, seriously, why does she have a direct line to me? Leave me alone. Seriously. Leave me and my children alone. Right. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Let's quickly go do this. I say quickly, it's eight days, but... All right, resistance ring sorted. Let's go. Let's go have a quick gander at the old resistance ring. Looks very undergroundy, even if we're on a ship, but hey. That's the vibe, that's the vibe. Let's have a look. Ooh, that's handy. And they're constantly trying to subvert our operations, so any shoulder we send out will be at risk. Oh boy. Now, I really do want to go and get the Templars, because the Templars are sick. Let me, let me think, let me think. Okay, I think the first one I'm going to do is, because this is just a straight 20% like redu reduction of all costs in the GCS tactics, and there's quite a few still to take, it basically takes them all from 75 down to like 60, so it means that we can buy a lot more of them a lot faster, so I think this makes sense to do. And also we get a Soldier promotion. I'm going to do Elias, I think. I will give them Greg, or Girthy Greg, he's back and at it again. And to stop the, well, how, what is the probability? Moderate. Okay, I'll, I'll add someone else, I'll add someone else. Well, let's add Ken, because he's just been out for a bit of a fight, so there we go. Let's get back going, it's only six days, so that shouldn't be too bad. I'll order my people to get underway. And I'll make all the GTS stuff that's way cheaper in the long run. This is about to be cleared, so I can start building a power relay, which is only about 80 supplies, which will sort out our power problem. And then I'm going to build the... Proving ground here and still build the workshop here so then we can use the gremlins here to supply here and here and maybe build like the, I don't know, like infirmary here so then that we can also use gremlins to supply down here, which I think is pretty handy. But let's keep clearing this out. Let's keep looking around the map. All right, everyone, it's time to rock and roll. It's time for our first supply raid. Let's go take everything we can get whilst the resistance have kept them busy. Yeah, this is fine. Operation Bone King. The lost are known to be present in the surrounding area, caution advised. Well, damn, all right then. I need something that can fire a lot of bullets at distance then. Setting Let's see who we've got. And then we'll get right in there. I'm trying to cut a lot of like the main, well, not the setup per se, but just generally speaking, like the loading screens and then just sitting in the Avenger. Not the Avenger, but you know what I mean, the dropship. Okay, this is what I'm going with. I did add a new, a few new weapon attachments to people's weapons, so Santos now has a better aim with the better sight, 
and Ice now has a better crit chance as well, so that will be quite handy. We are also going to take Mox and Outrider with us for this fight, as some people are still recovering, slash some people have already been starred in this episode already. So let's go, let's go extract as much stuff as we can, shall we? All right, troops, it's time to steal a lot of stuff, or, you know, take it back for us. Also, this is a dangerous place. Right. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. And That's is the, the plan. The My only concern is obviously the, the lost star kicking around. All right, we're stacked up. Let's see if anything happens. Mm, solid no. I like a solid no. Okay, walk up there very casually. Be casual. The lost of there, right. It's about as casual as we're getting then, right. Sneak in a bit. Can you see anything else? Ooh, okay. So there's never there's actually quite a few in this vicinity. Decent. So there's at least three I can see there. Any more? Hmm. No. Wait. No. Okay, this is fine. Right, let's get up as close as we can. But don't spook them by any means, because you know what will happen. They'll spook us right back. And they'll probably be much worse at doing it. Okay, let's see what they do. Oh! Oh! Interesting. Well, I think I have my answer. Wait, was that the same group or a different group that are just casually walking now? An alien scouting party. Oh no, it's a different group. It's just made up of the same group of people. So we've got two Vipers. I know that a lot of people really like the Viper. A little bit too much in some cases. So I guess we're going to see who's getting grabbed today. Well, I'm just going to leave them to it. Well, glad to see that... Uh, they hate each other as well. That's great. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this to my abil ability to steal some of their stuff. Because until I start nicking all their stuff, I don't think they realize we're actually here, which is great. Let them do their let them do the work for us. Stepping off. Careful though, because he might still see us. That would ruin this entire plan. And I don't want everyone stuck next to the car just in case the car explodes. Although the car looks very old, I bet it's still very explodable. So let's just be a little bit on careful on that end. Advancing quickly. Okay, roll moved up. Can you like blow anything up? Does not reveal the Reaper. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing to blow them up with right now. Is that another box over there? Okay, so I can see four. I might pull you up a little bit more then. Hang on. I go where you tell me. Uno momento. I want to get basically, if we can grab four boxes at once, that would be like prime. What are you up to? Ugh. Are you doing that to a... Well, I'm sorry to uh, tell you guys, but the loss beat you to getting wrapped by the snake girl. So, uh, you all lost? Or does the loss not count, eh? God, they're double teaming him. What's going on over there? Vic, this guy, these guys cannot hit the loss to save their lives, literally. This is a very bizarre fight. Ooh, that's got a smart. Well, they're about to get absolutely banged out. Leave them, leave them to it. This is actually kind of nice, to be honest. I don't know how many of them are kicking about. Don't stand... Well, go stand there. Can you see... Oh, God, there's so many more lost over there. Oh, there's another, there's another box there as well. Uh, I don't see any on this side. But there is one there. So let me have a look. So one, two, three, four. That's five, right? Okay. I could probably get her over there. My only issue is grabbing it and then setting off the lost. 
which might be I will reposition. something I can't avoid anyway. Uh, ice, I want you to get next to this one because your shotgun is going to be best for this area when they come in. I don't want to set them off just yet. Uh, yeah, they're, they're having a whale of a time over there. And then, Gurk, if you could get here. Santos, since you're a sniper, you could probably go to one that's a bit further away. And then Mox can just go to this one here, because then he's kind of in the right range. I'm not going to grab any of them yet, I'm just going to let them fight each other for a bit. I imagine there might come a point where they go, right, we're extracting everything, let's go. But until that time, well, we're at least going to get half of the boxes, I think. No, 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 just end the turn, end the turn. Man, they can't even kill one loss between them. Come on, boys and girls. Wow. I wish they missed this much when they were fighting us. What's going on? This is weird, right? Like, really weird. Oh, stuff! Don't mind if I do. Okay, I'm effectively just going turn by turn, waiting for these guys to basically kill each other, so... I'm just sort of passing through a bit, because as it stands, yeah, that's happening a bit. And they're absolutely decimating them now. Except this guy who can't even do that. Um. Weird. But okay. Ooh, he's still in it! Do as much damage to them as possible. I mean, I knew that was going to happen. It was going to expire regardless. Right. Now, the problem is, is that these guys are all going to go absolutely bonkers when I do this. So I need to kind of think about our strategic positioning, you could say. Hmm. You stay there. Ah, oh, there's a... Right, you can stand here. Moving out. What? There was no mark there? Oh, great. There was no square there? Oh, man. Well, rumbled. Well, I guess it's, I guess it's go time. I mean, I could throw a grenade. It would be kind of funny. Am I going to throw a grenade? I kind of want to throw a grenade. I'm going to throw a grenade. It's going to make things worse. So much worse. Did somebody, or did somebody order more Lost? Because I think they ordered more Lost. And I'm also, you know, filling Fives' wish of being grabbed by a snake girl. So, you know, there is that. I'm doing him a favor, really, aren't I? Right, we better get a move on, because this is about to turn into literal hell. Um, two out of three is not... Uh, you might as well try and clear him up. Yep, not a bad start. Uh, I mean, you could try, but it's the high-end attack. Yeah, that's fair. You could probably clean up next time. Uh, Mox, grab that, please. Is that full cover? That is full cover. I don't think you can shoot anything. You can't really throw anything either. There's nowhere to really jump up to and do any big damage. So, to be fair, just getting to cover. Yes, and get ready for next turn, because it's going to be pretty wild. I'm going to assume all the Lost are going to run this way, so that'll be the perfect time for Outrider to grab this box. Just don't jump through a window and, you know, alert everything that you're, you know, here. So that's not got a thing, so run through that one. And then go stand next to that in preparation. Hopefully they won't see you. I'd be surprised if they did see you. Um, oh no. Why? At the very least, you will die honor. That's not lucky. Well, she's out there somewhere. Oh, she's there. <laughs> I was like, she's out there somewhere. There she is. Advent has already marked a couple of crates. 
You know what? They can have to. We've got like five. They can have to. Great. This world is a prize for the taking. It only requires that I recapture you, Commander. You could try. I kind of hope she doesn't get a turn now because she's literally just spawned. Ruh row. Ah, ice. At least he wasted his turn. Oh, wow. Well. Are you going to waste your turn and kill the Lost? Good. And that should kill the Lost now, right? Yeah. Well, I hope the Lost attack the Chosen, just saying. That'd be great. Go on, beat her up. She's brittle. Like, genuinely, if this tactic works, it's going to be hilarious. We, we've done that, but the, the loss didn't do any damage. That's also very bad. Ooh. What can I make explode? Can I make anything explode that's good? Is she in range of that? I actually... I can't physically tell. Oh my god, this is silly. It... <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Please. Please tell me. Hang on. I can't even zoom out or anything either. I've got to, like, get it in. Right. It goes out to here. She's not... I don't think she's in range. Although it's like... Oh, maybe she is. This is such a silly angle. I think she might be. Ah, oh, screw it. Stand clear. Surprise. She was in range. But, bad news, lost. But at the same time, are we really that surprised? Right, snake there, snake bad. But, wow, that's not really that much damage. Hmm. Not overall impressed, really, with that. I don't want to make more explosions. I probably shouldn't. You missed an 84%, you stupid bastards. Is it dead? Not quite. Close, though. To the point I can now do this. And then go... Kablam! Just don't die. You're already pretty injured. You saying that you're not equal? Because that's what I'm saying. Okay, Viper's down. Ugh. Okay, there's a lot of Lost kicking about. I wouldn't mind you killing the Stun Lancer. But I don't think you're going to get the chance with the amount of lost around, honestly. I'm actually a little bit concerned about how much lost there is. Oh, boy. Only thing you can do is open a box, which I don't want them to alert you to your presence just yet. So let's see what happens. Oh, no. Oh, this guy's not very good at his job. Like, he's really not. I'm not complaining. Oh, no. She, on the other hand, is, unsurprisingly. I thought she was going to go for the Lost. Um. God, she, she cheesed it. I mean... Are you talking about the Advent people? Because I would agree. Haha, <laughs> haha, social commentary. Well, this suddenly became more of a mission than I was expecting, I'll be honest. Oh no, I'm fully aware. 
Fully aware. At least I can get some shots in the back. Remember, they are not victims. Oh dear. Well, you know what? That lasted a while. Oi, Oi indeed. Get up, buddy. You can do it. I hate that she doesn't take reaction fire. That's that's crazy. Right. One, shut up. Two, hang about. How much ammo have you got? Oh, yeah, watch out. He's firing. Yeah, I, I noticed. Nice. Ooh, promotion earned. Very good. You are kind of injured, though. Right. Let me just figure my life out for a second here. Get in this corner. My main issue is, I don't know where she's going to come from, and I don't like it. Obviously, I don't like it. Don't screw me. Oh, Mox, buddy. Why did I rescue you? That was rude. I, I meant rescue because you're cool, man. Justice. Come here, you. Lay into him. All right, lost something. I, I, I know. Sixty-seven percent. Am I willing to risk that? You know what? Do what you do best. Hopefully, you're now far away enough from the chosen, wherever she disappeared to. And now hide inside the Viper Corpse? Or maybe, like, hide here. Okay. She's gonna pop out now. Did she just spawn? Alright, oh, she spawned someone. Okay. I hope that was her move. Do you? Man, it's so... Look at that one! Little Spider-Man over there. Oh, someone just got off a train. Must have been a hell of a commute. Alright, you have to say it like that. Okay, this, uh... This mission has become a lot longer than I was planning on it being. I'll say that much. Uh, right, move up. And then I want you to go back into hiding. And then we'll see where this assassin ass ass in becomes ass ass out. Here's hoping. Blast it. 100% can't miss. Indeed. Oh, he got a reload. That's a damn shame. But... Hang about. Hang about. Hang about. Hang about. Ah, uh, night six. There you go. I always get worried. I always get worried. Ooh, ooh. I mean, that's the damage I need to do for this one, to be fair. Right. Who's got the medikit? kit? Uh. Did we not bring it? Oh no, no. Carlos has right. Who's the most injured? You've got three, you've got four, so really I should be healing you up, I suppose. But you're only missing two, whereas he's missing three. Ah, decisions, decisions, eh? Right, tell you what I'll do. This is what I'm gonna do. Shoot that one. That should line him up to kill it. Perfect. 
Now, there's nothing else to kill for now. Hunker down. Gurk also hunker down. Come here. I don't think there's really going to be... Oh, yeah, you. Where is she? Ah, oh, Mox can't catch a break. He really can't. Right, there she is. Mox is like, bro, I just want to live. God, there's so many of them. Can you not go tap the Chosen? Go tap the Chosen. Please? Where is she? She's there, right? A delicate placement. I don't even care about making a noise. I just want her dead. Is that a lot to ask for? Where is the claymore? Okay, hang on. For some reason, you're not at an angle to shoot the claymore, and that's a little bit confusing. But okay, I thought you would—I thought you would have been. A little strange. Come here. Head to that location. Get our silly boy up. He's back. This is intense, man. Right, seriously, who can see the claymore? Why can nobody see this claymore? Right, is there anywhere? Any weird angle. I mean, he's only got one turn anyway, so it's not really going to work, unfortunately. You can't see it there. You can only see 44% of it there. Okay. You can't see the claymore. Is there an area where you can? Okay, I've got a really stupid idea. And yes, it involves explosions. And yes, I'm going to do it. Because I'm stupid. Gurk, do what I love you doing best. Oh, boy. Hi! She literally got eviscerated off the map. Eviscerated. Yeah, yeah, you're talking big smack now. I don't know if we will at this rate. Them again, but that chosen sure wasn't expecting the fight we put up today. Oh, good God. Where's the enemy? The enemy's there. We've got some people in too hot, too bad cover, honestly. And I can't see that one for some weird or wacky reason. Uh, 44% is not really worth it. Game cover. There now. I need to get everyone, everyone, quite a few people are injured from that fight. Which I guess is understandable. Gain to cover Mox. We could pull the loss towards us, and I guess that'll do. Maybe don't go near the fire. I am trusting you. you know what? I'm happy with five crates, killing the Chosen, and getting through this fight alive, to be fair. Where's Broski going? Oh man, he ended up the only person that he could have, and he missed. I'm 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 happy with that. I'm not ha I'm not happy with that. That is a lot of lost. Well, that's one less. Oh, we got... Nice, he ranked up. Oh my good lord. That would be a lot of lost. Um, everyone, back up a bit. It's about to get pretty messy. Pretty messy. Wow, 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 wow. I don't even know where to begin. That one. Tell you what, actually. Can you go and deal with the asshole in the building, please? That'd be three to five. Okay. Oh, there's a lost light right. Okay, this might be a little dangerous, but... 
This is what you're made to do. Hello. Get turn. Oh, is that stuff that you just dropped by any chance? Oh, nice loot. Oh, nice. And a data pad. Fabulous. But we do need to kill that one, like, now, please. Don't miss, please. Thank you. And now we just need to thin the herd as much as we can. I I'd love to, buddy, but I, I can't right now. You do get three. You, you get some free reloads, though, so even though... What did you expect? Yep, so that won't take any of your points into account either. Very good. Although I don't think you can kill this one because it's got too much health. Unless you do some decent damage. Come on, do it. Give me five damage. That's okay, because you've lined him up to die to another, another person instead. And that is fine. Although Mox hasn't been the best at shooting lately, so let me, uh... Let me bring him a little bit closer. If there's no more advent to deal with, and it's just lost coming at us... Then cover doesn't really matter anymore. Oh, come on, can't one of them at least hit one in the background? No. Oh, boy. I'm assuming there's no more crates worth to go get. Look how many of them there are, man. I mean, yeah, they've been dead for 20 years. They probably don't know. Well, every dead lost is a good lost. Wow, good on her. Shame it's not a really great time to for that to pop off, really, but... So, what's that? Three, six? Is like another... Maybe maybe like ten of them? And that's like lowballing it? Like, wow. Are there any of them you can take out? <laughs> Ducks in a barrel. Fish in a barrel. Ducks in a barrel. That's mean. You don't shoot ducks. Okay, he's now out of ammo, so I'm going to use him to get over here and heal up Mox, because he got the, he's got the least amount of health. Plus, that card's exploded, so I'm glad I moved him. I hope I didn't set off more of the lost. Might be able to get one more, but I don't know if I want to risk it to say that there's... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 lost? Maybe? Ice, can you get to that one? Ah, oh, screw it. Do it. Retag it. Good work. Nice job. Okay. 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 <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we are in danger. Right, everyone's gonna have to move back slightly. Shoot. And, well, hope for the best, really. Three to four. Who can you kill? Any confirmed ones where we're doing the exact amount of damage to do it, do it. I'm getting a little bit worried about these lower and lower hit choice chances. She's going to have to... Yeah, she's going to have to reload soon. Oh, man, the choices are getting slim on who to shoot. Right, you got to reload. Okay, now it's up to you guys. What do you got for me? Ah, oh, they've all got more health than the average bear. 75, 73. You get a little bit closer. Absolutely. Be careful, though, because you've only got four health. Oh, I could just blow them up, but it'll bring more of them in. I feel like I've learned my lesson. Or maybe I haven't. I probably haven't. Okay. 80, 78, 76, 75. Oh, man. These 80s are... Oh, no. Here they come. No! No, it's not... It is, it is not good, unfortunately. Oh. Damn. Okay, at least you didn't miss a 92%. That would have been terrifying if you did. Any of them got like four health or less? 87, 84, damn. Take the 87. 
Okay. No, you're doing six damage. Now is probably the time when you should probably move back. Oh, man. Alright, Moxie, buddy. You're already out of ammo. Get in here. Uh, ooh. Ah, E. Okay. I think it's time to move back slightly and then just pistol shot one of them. I think that'll probably do. And hopefully they all separate out a bit. Great job. Great job. You can have it. You can have it. And we managed to get that crate back in the end, so that's good as well. There's what? Two more crates somewhere? I don't think I care about them. I got more than half, which I'm quite happy about, honestly. Reload. Shoot that one so you can at least make it so someone else can kill it. Nice work. Mark's reload. Kill that one. The only fate possible for aliens. Oh dear. Yeah, shoot that one. Mox, you might be able to clear that one up now. Nice. You do the same to that one. Oh boy, buddy. Right, hang on. Hang on, hang on. You get three reload, reload, right? You do. 91. Now, move back slightly so you make him work for it. And shoot him. If you get five roll, we're fine. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. By the numbers. Jesus. I was not expecting that at all. Again, we'll be ready. Holy hell. Five ability points, so good job. And we got quite a few crates, and everybody survived. Good job, team. Wow, wow, we were. 48 enemies killed. I am definitely taking a photo. Deserve that one, right. <laughs> That'll do. Well, that was intense. Like, that was a simple supply raid turned into... Surprise, there's a Chosen. But hey, we have some injured. Which is kind of understandable. Oof. Everyone is pretty battered. Oh, man. Yeah, everyone's either smart, above average, or a savant. Which is this thing. Indeed. Uh, I do like that. Uh, I do like that as well. You know, I'll go, I'll go total combat. Total combat. Bum, 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 nah, nah. Done. Uh, Ice, you said that you want to be just Mr. Dodge Shotgun, so I will give you Phantom to begin with. And then Santos, I don't think you've given me a breakdown of what you want to be, but I'll give you a long watch for the time being. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'll take, a, I'll take what we... Wow. 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 Seven will? That's a lot of wills. All right, cool. Good job. We get data, data pad decryption, and we also get to do the autopsy on the Viper, which I imagine loads of soldiers will be uh, lining up at the door to do. I don't want to. I don't want to think about it. Combat against the <laughs> day in and day out is wow. An easy task, and eventually the stress takes its toll in various ways. We'll need to keep an eye on each soldier to manage their traits. To be fair, he has been captured once and then attacked again. So, it's only fair that he's a bit scared of the Chosen. Demonophobia? Damn. Oh, Mox, buddy. Ah, oh, Mox, buddy. 
Okay, I'm gonna do like one or two of the things just to keep us going, but then I'm probably gonna leave it there because wow, we did all that was a big mission. A big mission. Oh, and Santos and Dragonov? Or Dragonov? I keep saying Dragonov like a gun, but Dragonova. Um could bond as well. So if Santos you wanna do that, that'd be great. I am gonna wait for the radio to be done. Man. <gasps> the black market, that's actually a great idea. Look, lady, we just beat you a second time. You don't really have any legs to stand on. Oh. Well, I haven't even got there yet, so you can wait. The elders never had any issues targeting civilians. Nope. And their chosen are no different. No surprise. The resistance is counting on us to protect their people. We can't let them down. Do not think I could have predicted. All right, nice. So we can actually get some intel as well. Although, I don't know, what is it, three? God, we've already got psionics, that's early. Magnetic weapons are 19 days, plated armor is 20 days. I can do some autopsies. That would be interesting enough, but they're all five days. I guess it's only three days, so I might as well do it. If you ever get something inspired or instant, I mean, instant is obvious, because you should do that. But if you ever get, like, inspired, then, yeah. Nope, I assumed I would be able to do that. And I've now got my sharpshooters, so to end this episode, I am going to make one more customized character to seal us off for the day. And then we'll pick up next time, because wow. Double Agent on every mission is a chance that an Advent unit will join the XCOM squad. Mmm! Okay, so we've got two more people to introduce before we call it a day. So let's introduce Mad Jack McManus to begin with. I did try to get it as Plague Doctor as possible. This is as close as I'm getting. You, are, you, are, you do have a green goatee under there, don't worry, and you are very much bald, so uh, I've done what I can. I can give you a Reaper mask if you want instead, but uh, this is sort of gas masky plague doctory, so I hope that works out for you. Let's have a quick check of his biography. So Mad Jack has spent his life working in his family's cake shop where he decorated cakes for a living. During an incident whilst the invasion was ongoing, a plasma grenade exploded, destroying the shop and leaving him with permanent burns on his face. I think you can see it just through his eye hole. He woke up in an XCOM facility where memories of a past life came creeping into his dreams. Memories of a group called Adventuring Incorporated. He remembered a bow and the use of poison against his enemies, but not much else. Although he does mention that he faintly recalls that of fighting a dragon with his friends, something the rest of the XCOM members are dubious of. But, hey, aliens are actually real, so who's to say? All he knows now is that he needs to fight and stop the incursion. So, it was time he properly joined the fight with XCOM. Alright, cool. So we have another Grenadier here and there. He is very, 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 very twitchy. I am just going to save him to my character pool, which I have done with every other character so far. So you will always be there in some way. You're also gifted, so that's decent. And then we also have Maggie Howard. So let's have a quick look at her biography very quickly. So Maggie was very young when the aliens invaded. She lived on a farm and learned how to use a rifle at a young age, so she's very adept at using one. It's how she escaped alien capture. She killed an Archon to get away whilst running into a heavy wooded area and found a place to hide. She then roamed and survived on the land until she ran into an injured Resistance member and healed them up. He showed her to the camp, and from then on, she joined XCOM. Straight and to the point, that's what we're here for. All right, cool. So we've got a, a very nice myriad group. Let me also just save you to my character pool. Very good. Um, yeah, it's great seeing all these subscriber characters getting with even more to come. Um, yeah, wow, thank you all for your submissions so far. As I will always say, if you haven't filled out the sheet yet, feel free to check out the description below, which will link you to the Google form to get yourself into this series as a soldier and a player character, I suppose. But I'm going to leave it there for today. We've done quite a lot today. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more of there you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you know the next time we are going out with the soldiers of XCOM or with the Chodes in Battle Brothers. Otherwise, can't wait till then. Feel free to join the Discord. It is linked in the description below also. And feel free to buy me a cuppa to help support the channel and all the work I put into it. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Until next time.